glutamate is the most abundant excitatory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system and plays a crucial role in various physiological and cognitive functions. It is involved in processes such as learning, memory, synaptic plasticity, and neural development. Here's an overview of glutamate and its significance. Neurotransmitter function. Glutamate serves as a neurotransmitter by transmitting signals between nerve cells, neurons, at synapses. It's released from the presynaptic neuron, travels across the synaptic cleft, and binds to receptors on the postsynaptic neuron, initiating a response. Excitatory nature. Glutamate is considered an excitatory neurotransmitter because its binding to receptors leads to the depolarization of the postsynaptic neuron's membrane. This depolarization brings the neuron closer to its threshold for generating an action potential, the electrical impulse that propagates along the neuron. Glutamate receptors. There are two main types of glutamate receptors, ionotropic and metabotropic. Ionotropic receptors, these receptors are ion channels that open in response to glutamate binding, allowing ions like calcium and sodium to flow into the postsynaptic neuron. This influx of ions leads to depolarization and excitatory effects. NMDA receptors and AMPA receptors are two prominent types of ionotropic glutamate receptors. Metabotropic receptors, these receptors are linked to intracellular signaling pathways. When glutamate binds to them, they trigger complex cellular responses indirectly through second messengers. Metabotropic glutamate receptors, MGLORs, modulate synaptic transmission and play roles in various neural processes. Synaptic plasticity. Glutamate-mediated synaptic plasticity is a fundamental mechanism underlying learning and memory. Two main forms of plasticity are long-term potentiation, LTP, and long-term depression, LTD. LTP involves strengthening synaptic connections, while LTD involves weakening them. These processes are thought to be essential for memory formation and information storage. Glutamate-related disorders. Dysregulation of glutamate signaling has been implicated in various neurological and psychiatric disorders. For example, neurodegenerative diseases, excessive glutamate release can lead to excitotoxicity, a process implicated in conditions like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Epilepsy, abnormal glutamate signaling can contribute to seizure activity in epilepsy. Schizophrenia, altered glutamate transmission has been linked to schizophrenia, leading to the glutamate hypothesis of the disorder. Mood disorders, dysregulation of glutamate pathways may play a role in mood disorders like depression and bipolar disorder. Regulation. The concentration of glutamate in the synaptic cleft is tightly regulated to prevent excessive excitation. Glutamate is taken up by astrocytes and converted into glutamine, which is then transported back to neurons and converted back into glutamate. In conclusion, glutamate is a fundamental neurotransmitter in the central nervous system with diverse roles in neural communication, synaptic plasticity, learning, and memory. Its intricate balance and functioning are crucial for maintaining proper brain function, and disturbances in glutamate signaling can have far-reaching implications for neurological health and function. Thank you for watching.